Hi Dan. Uh, are we allowed to post video responses to your videos? Because I know you said the comment. <laughs> well, I am. <laughs> so, fuck you. Well, what a nice way to start. <laughs> Sorry Dan, I love you. Ooh, big fan of yours, you always... I only, I've only known about your videos for like a month. Which I explained in another video, if you want to watch it. Click. It's a response to Phil's new video. Um, if you want to know. Probably Phil will tell you if he watches the video. So. But anyway, um, yeah, so you said to comment on the video, but I'm doing the video response, and I know it's a bit late, but I am in a video recording mood at 3 o'clock in the morning. I know it's late, but late as in your video was uploaded like a week ago, but I'm doing it now, so whatever. But this laptop that I'm filming on is absolutely fucked. It randomly turns itself off, which I'm hoping is not going to happen while I'm filming this video, or uploading it. It is smashed to smithereen, I can't even see myself because the screen is so cracked. So I had to get another laptop, which has no webcam, and I don't have a camera because I killed my phone and my camera, which has no sound anyway. <laughs> so that's probably why I haven't posted a video response, but why do you care? Anyway, so my airport incident also happened when I went to Florida, which was about five or six years ago now. And a lot, it's not really that crazy, but um, a lot happened at the airport in England and at the airport in Florida. Um, basically, in the morning, we had to get up at like 5 just to go to the airport because the flight was at like 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. And uh, I was in my room uh, packing my carry on bag. I don't know why I didn't do it the night before, but I'm like, oh, I'm sort of, <laughs> I'll do it when I do it, okay? Okay. So, <coughs> YOLO, shoot me now. Okay, anyway, it's getting hairs in my mouth. Do you like my hat, by the way? It's a bear. Arr! People think telling me it's a fox, but it's not. It's a bear. Anyway, it's already been on for two minutes and I haven't even started for a story. I get distracted, I'm sorry. Anyway, so I was in my room, packing my carry-on bag, as you do, and my little brother, who was 14 at the time, decided that when I left the room to go and brush my teeth, he decided that he would hide some scissors in my carry on bag. Now, that would have been funny if I'd have known about it before I got to customs. <laughs> well, so they put my bag in the little tray thing when we got to the airport. <coughs> well, the first thing that happened actually was when we got to the airport, um, I wasn't, uh, we were in a rush because we were a bit late because of the traffic and I wasn't looking where I was going, and I bumped into one old lady, and she fell over. And I did the same thing later on, but we'll get to that. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I kind of just helped her up and apologised. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I wasn't looking for what I was doing. Just, anyway, so we got to customs, and they put my bag on the table, and it went, the person went, oh my god, there's a problem, there's a problem, there's a problem. Ah, oh, what do you do? <laughs> so they had they emptied the contents of my bag, my iPod, my case for my iPod, my loudspeaker for my iPod, basically everything that involved my iPod. My games console at the time was a Game Boy Advance, you know, the long things. <laughs> um, and then they found the scissors. The woman came up to me and said, "There's a pair of scissors in the bag. Did you know anything about this?" And I'm like. No. I looked at my brother and he was laughing at me. So I just said, um, yeah, I, I didn't want to blame him because I know that my dad would tell him off. My dad's evil. Well, he's not evil. He's a nice guy. But he was a bit like when he was, he's very strict, I'll just say that. So I just looked at my brother and he was laughing at me. He was trying not to laugh and I said, yeah, I put them in there because I thought we might need scissors when we were <laughs> I should do. So then they had to like, they thought I was lying, so they had to, they, my family had to leave and go for the next part, because this was only the bit when you had to go. This was back when there was no naked scanner. I'm not going on holiday anymore, because I don't want to be naked and think of everything. <laughs> we did have to take our shoes off, though. So, you know, keep the shoes off. So. Anyway, they, my family had to go, and I had to stay there while they took my fingerprints, and they removed the scissors from the... Whatever it's called. Whatever that word is, I mean. 
<laughs> and uh, they had to like stamp my passport with something, and that took about half an hour, and then I had to go. And I got told off by my dad when I got to <laughs> So that was fun. And then when we got to America, it turns out that woman I pushed over by mistake was on the same flight as us. I saw, I saw her on the plane, and she gave me the evilest look in the world. And I was like, this is an accident. I'm not mean to old ladies. Okay, old ladies. Oh. Um, so when we got to America, my dad said, oh, go and get a trolley for us. So I was like, okay. So I went and got them. You know, this would only happen to me. I get the trolley with the fucked up wheel. I was like, there's a trolley there. I can't be bothered to go over there, all the way over there to get one. So I'm going to get that one that's just sitting there. I wonder why no one's had it. Well, I soon found out the wheel, the front wheel was all, no, I don't like this. <laughs> Schizophrenic wheel, or whatever it is. Okay. Um, so I'm like wobbling with this trolley. And then, of course, the old woman that I pushed over in England was walking in front of me. I tried to press the brakes to stop it because it was like mental. And then it crashed into her and she turned around and was like, oh. and just walked away. <laughs> like, she must think I was just out to get her. It was, I'm sorry if you're watching this. I didn't mean to hurt you and push you over. I didn't do anything else to her, that was it. So that's basically it. Just, there was a creepy thing that happened to us at an airport in um, when we were waiting for our flight to Spain, not Spain, Cyprus, and um, we were sat, we were, our plane was delayed by about two hours, which was annoying, we had to stay there for ages, we'd already been there for two hours, and this woman was sat next to us with a baby um, in the pram, and I was, I was like, oh, can I look at your baby, I like babies, so cute, and she was like, sorry, I was, I was about ten at the time, so was, sorry, she's asleep, so, oh, okay. And then her other kid, who was about five, came knee-sliding towards her, and she, she was like, stop, stop! And he whacked into the pram, and then the baby just, like, looked, like it sort of just jumped up a bit, and its eyes were like, ah! Scariest thing ever. And it didn't sit up, because it's a baby, it couldn't do that, it just went, Ugh! It just jumped, and its eyes were like, it was literally like, without teeth, it was terrifying. Anyway, so... That wasn't really that bad, but I think the Florida thing with that old lady was a bit more traumatic for me. This woman must think I'm trying to murder her. <laughs> That's basically, you've probably lost interest now because this has been on for so long, but if you liked the video, yeah, yeah. And that was basically the story. Now I'm going to film another video, but not in response to you, it's one of my videos because I'm in a video making mood even though it's a shitty webcam. So, yeah, that was it, and I'm going to go, because this video is too long, and you're probably bored, and you probably don't like me, and you're probably thinking I'm a green and I'm not looking at video. <laughs> okay. But I love you, and I don't care if you don't like me, because you're great, <laughs> and you make, you're the only, you and Phil are pretty much the only people who can make my bad days better now. Well, thank you for that, and thank you to everyone who's subscribed to me so far, I've got about 200 subscribers now, which is a big number for me, so, bye! I can't find the stock, oh there it is.